here of the Kespa Cup. It's been a crazy ride, but this one game will decide it all right now, right here. That it will. We're going to jump into it right here, right now. As you said, Flash versus Glass is the final map on Dash and Terminal. KT Lorster Flash, Dio Ho versus SK Telecom T1 Class, Kim Do. Here we go! Kangnam style! Here we go. There's actually a, a video of you and I singing that song on the internet right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> Funny the way it works. Um, this is interesting. Against Protoss. Yeah. What do you think he's going to do? Well, okay, so probably there's a few different things he can do. What we normally see when players do this is just a like a heavy marine count, a lot of early barracks and a lot of pressure with marines into like a faster uh, Medivax, Widow Mines and stuff like that. And the marine push just kind of never ends mm -hmm. because you have more production than you would normally because you have more money. And also you're closer to the process than you normally would be. So you can actually, I mean, to a certain extent, you're, like, your, your barracks are forward barracks. Like they're actually so much closer. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can actually continue to reinforce. Now, hopefully Classic knows that this is a, a popular strategy on this map and we'll check that base right away because there's a few ways he can punish this too because it's in such close proximity by just you know going like two gate on one base and sending stalkers out to harass. Uh, I think that's probably the best response to this opening. I just want to see what he does. Me too. Uh, <laughs> it's no doubt going to be a heavy barracks play uh, with the extra money. Mm. Um, I want to check. Although we did see um, at a fantasy versus dark on this map, uh, obviously a different matchup, but he did go for uh, tanks. It's, it's, yeah. a, it's a possibility. It looks Here like, against Protoss. Well, he's definitely getting a gas out really early, so absolutely possible. Um, just wanted to check because I, I just simply didn't know. The uh, gases on this map are normal geysers. Sometimes, and these crazy new maps we have in the pool, and sometimes they're in tournaments like have a rich Vespian geyser, but these are normal geysers. That would be way too strong if they were rich. Oh, but yeah. Just check just to make it's sure. like that close to your main. You yeah. just load up the SCVs, it takes like 10 seconds. No way. Two racks coming in. Yeah. Oh, it could be like two racks Marauder as well. Some like kind of one base, one gold base, three racks all in. <laughs> yeah, he could actually like do three barracks worth of uh, Marauders off of that. Um, oh, he's he's making Reapers. Oh, what if he just mass Reapers? He could. Could work out. Maybe that's Reaper why Marine. Classic put that wall there. Yeah, they can't jump up anywhere else. That um, little tubes, little pipes there will actually stop anything from jumping there. Okay. Um, I suppose, theoretically, if he did mass Reapers, he could like jump in um, and kill that pylon eventually and just run through. But Okay, starts Marines now. Where are the tech labs? Where's the factory? We, we, we need to see some sort of tech from Flash to go forward from here. It's getting that second gas, so it's going to be something like that. Yeah, factory, as soon as he has 150, will be the next thing for sure. Um, a little bit of history for you guys, a little bit of uh, a little fact, lesser known fact. Mules used to uh, return more per trip on gold minerals. They now only return 30. I think they used to return like 60. I can't remember. That's pretty crazy. First Reaper coming in. Everything's looking fine, looking normal. Mother Shakur is uh, not at home. It's actually going for a scout. Yeah, a little Waiting bit of harass, I guess. But, like, there's going to be enough Marines out, I believe, to defend this. Yeah, three Marines. Good micro here. We will actually kill the Mother Shakur. Third step. That was Ooh. definitely not the best micro yeah. we could have seen. That was kind of sad that that didn't happen. You could have stutter, stutter stepped up, most definitely. We do have two more gates on the way. Classic has identified what's going on here. He's just going to make three gates and just try to make units defend. Now this is a big problem because that Mothership core is on high ground. He needs to fly a mm. barracks or fly his factory or something, or else he's going to be uh, he's going to be dealing with this for the rest of the game. Reaper looking for a jump up here, but two stalkers trying to deny. Reaper just going to sacrifice, get the scout, seize the two gates. I think that's a great choice. Uh, yeah, I was going to say he needs a robo too. Two gates and a robo. It's pretty much going to be a catch-all off of one base. I think we might see like something like that we used to see from TY on Habitation Station with Siege Tanks pushing with Bio. Could be. For now, he's just making a reactor there for what looks like the starport. And I was wrong about the militia. Of course, the range is not big enough for him to actually hit without being seen. So he has to expose himself, so it's not actually as big of a deal as I made it out to be. Classic is more... putting his stalkers behind the mineral line here. Oh, that's that's a beautiful counter. 
What's he going to do? Well, I mean, he's going to have vision with the factory. True. But, like, it's still going to be very difficult to actually micro this. A little mix up there with the micro from Classic. If he starts to get a lot of stalkers, though, I think this is going to be a big problem, even with the factory for vision. He's going to three, have three out at a time here. He's making a... Okay, cancels the War Prism. Making it an Immortal instead. Oh, he could Colossus drop this. I'm not even kidding. What is this series, man? What are we watching? New maps, man. <laughs> that drop is just going to go straight into the main. There is some other support, but where is it? Oh, wow. It's right there. Okay. They sent it back somehow, sneakily. <laughs> <laughs> They're just in time. Now we got five Stalkers here behind. And he, should, he should just get to work on that factory. Yeah. He can outrange that and push it back at least. Yeah, he was doing that earlier. It looks like he wants to completely abandon this location instead. What I'd love to see from Flash is to lift an SCV and take the island. There's not much answer for that right now, and I don't think Classic would expect it. It's not like so a, tricky. It's not like a standard thing. It's, yeah, it'd be very tricky. Almost gimmicky as well. Um, but I would like to see it. I think it could work really well in this specific situation. He's like very worried about these stalkers actually sending three medevacs worth of units to deal with them. They're already back home though. One this, base Colossus right now from Classic is this, the response. This base isn't going to last forever. This gold minerals, you can see they're already starting to mine out. He is going to need to make another CC eventually, uh, or else he's going to like eventually have to float that one. Yeah, maybe you could just float it back into the main. I don't know if Classic has enough to defend this. His first Colossus isn't out yet, and he already used his Ooh. mothership core for the overcharge. Well, he's got his stalkers in position to at least not let him drop into the main. Maybe he'll just drop outside. He needs to be able to unload. Like That is the main problem. You're absolutely right. If he can't unload, then he can't fight this. But once he can, he has Stim already, and he will crush this army. This gateway army, even with the Immortal, he'll crush it. Mm. Four medevacs in this? He's kidding me. I don't think Classic can hold this. But here comes the Colossus. They snap to cancel the base, and he's going to go for the Colossus. And he should be able to get it. He snipes it down immediately. And I think he just fights straight up against Classic's army. There's not enough here. Oh. So close, actually. But yeah, it's not enough. It's not enough. He needed a few more Zealots there. Well, we got another drop coming in here. Classic is on his last legs. Flash takes the gold base <laughs> scrap station, man. <laughs> he said take only gold bases this game. That's the stipulation. Warp Prism is on the way. And I can only imagine that's for harassment at the gold, but he needs to survive yeah, first. But, yeah. I can't believe he's not making a Colossus right now. Once the Photon Overcharge runs out, I think Classic just runs in there. There's barely anything. I mean, there's an Immortal. I guess you can actually do that just force with the ramp but you know flash is going to have that second gold base at the same time that's what the observer's looking for look at the observer on the bottom of the map he's floating floating around trying to find those bases right. he hasn't found it yet he actually stops at the bottom left and now um, he's moving down okay he actually puts a pile on there it's a probe not an observer oh. um so he's gonna let it harass that base once he finds it he doesn't know about it yet i wonder what he's gonna hide there though if he's planning on hiding something Seems like Flash is looking for like a hidden base or something even. He's gonna find the pylon, force it to cancel, so no harass is gonna come out there, but there's still there's that warp prism. Don't forget about him. Looks like he's gonna warp stalkers into the main. And uh and drop, you know, and, and harass from the high ground. This is our part where he's like, oh no, I forgot my Colossus for the Colossus. Drop. He's just gonna drop in some zealots straight onto that mineral line. The Vikings are out of position. Oh, what? Uh, I think it's too risky to commit there. He's focused on this location right now. His hardened shield is so important. Well, uh, this base is mining. It's unscouted as well, mind you. Yeah. He can just send his SCVs over there once it gets bad. Ooh, this war prism gets scouted. The Vikings are coming. This is not good at all. It's way too expensive to lose. Now it's <laughs> will be trapped on the island for the remainder of this game. <laughs> He's there forever. Wow. I guess you can check the island, make sure that, you know, Flash doesn't take the island. <laughs> I guess so. That zealot's named QXC, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Only immortals and just gateway units straight up. Fake Colossus. Yeah. This and base is just too much. Yeah. He has no pylon on the map either. He tries to get Dark DTs out there. It's going to be so hard. I think a Dark Shrine's a good choice, but it's like, still probably not going to work. Um, 
He needs to transfer some SCVs down there. He's way oversaturated in that one patch that's left. Mm. Scanning again, trying to pick off any units he can find. There's enough force fields to force out this ramp forever, I think. I'm pretty sure he's actually got enough energy for that. By yeah, the time he's, he's gotten the economy to continue making sentries as well. Yeah, I mean, like, even with the ones he has, like, okay, he's going to take the island. <laughs> well, this is a huge risk. I, I mean, if Flash sees it, it just gets totally shut down. Listen for a second, Valus. I actually just I have to say something. I love this pool. Everyone's been saying bad things about it. I haven't commentated anything on it yet until today. This is my first time. This pool is incredible. It's just it creating insane games. It is. It is, is so good. And in TVZ, it's, the matchup has still been pretty standard no matter what way you're looking at. No one's really experimenting because that matchup doesn't have crazy tech switches and things like Protoss does. You put Protoss plus these maps, and you're going to have exciting games no matter what. Or Terran, actually, in this case, with the gold base. Like, another mm -hmm. thing that you could do that you could never do before. Well, um, here we go. DTs are coming in. It seems like Flash has an idea. Okay, he's going to try to burst this turret down with the Immortals and then do damage with the DTs, I guess. Well, he's yep. just going to... Yep, there we go. And it goes down. And there are scans, though, so... Just threw away two Immortals, essentially. Flash is coming away for the uh, attack. I mean, he has to do stuff like this. He's so far behind, he has to take huge risks and try to somehow claw his way back on the game. I think he just he just doesn't know about the gold base to the, to the left. There's two gold bases, of course. He doesn't know about the middle base. Oh, boy. Those four shields are absolutely not the ones he wanted. He needs to get one on the ramp. There you go. I think there are even, like, few enough units from the Protoss right now for Flash to just, like, drop in. It's yeah. getting close. Actually, I think you're right. Well, maybe with the Photon Overcharge, it's, like, not there yet. But it's going to be there soon. And this oh. base is being taken. Flash is already moving up there. He's going to scout it. He's just going to kill it. It's going to have to be canceled. Classic will probably have to type out here. And you know what? Flash beat Classic in a straight-up series on these maps with good preparation and good answers to what Classic was doing. I I feel like this is uh, the, the closest series we've seen so far in Casper Cup and by far the best. And the best TVP series we've seen this year. Yeah. And these maps have really made it for me. Uh, are they the best maps in the world? No. Are they perfect maps? No. Are there problems with the maps? Yes. But this well, has they created... They tinkered, you know? Yeah, and this has created a perfect mix of all sorts of different types of strategies. And that is uh, to the end of this base. And Classic just can't accept it yet, but he's going to have to type out. This base is dead. He recalls. <laughs> Flash should just pick up and leave. GG. Flash wins a best of five against Classic. You guys saw it here tonight, and he is pumped. He's, he's going into the semifinal. He's pumped. He's won it on new maps, maps that he's only had a little bit of time to practice. Same with Classic. And uh, both players using strategies unique to the maps based on their, their their features, you know, like the Tempest build. Using Tempest again, not wanting to fight Colossi on the... Um, on, uh, What's the map? Sorry, uh, Moonlight, Moonlight Madness. Yeah. A huge cheer for Classic as well as he's on camera. We were wanting to uh, support him in the series. There's a girl actually sitting right next to us, alone here in the studio. She left to, to go, no doubt, talk to Flash or Classic. But she was freaking out the whole series. Oh, and yeah. And this is just such an incredible day of matches, and it doesn't end here. That was our first series in the round of eight of this tournament.